Neck care involves three phases. So we're going to start with mobility and flexibility and move on to strength. So first, an easy at your desk or anywhere stretch, bringing your ear down toward your shoulder. Trying to keep your shoulders square and just moving through your neck. You want your hand to be offering gentle pressure, but just to the point of tension, so nothing should hurt. The next stretch is actually going to help you come down at an angle and relieve some more of those muscles through the back of the neck and the upper back and shoulders, that upper trapezius. It's as if your chin is pointed down toward your thigh. In this case, we're looking down your right thigh at more of an angle, not the straight over stretch that you just did. Next up, we're gonna move on to a little bit more of front view so you can actually see what happens here. So watching me, bringing my ear toward my side, you can see that I come straight over on this side. Now pay attention here if you're watching closely I have a little tension on this side of my neck and you can see that I tip and tilt my head unintentionally. But all those are little clues that you have a little bit more tension on one side than the other. It's very common. Just pay attention to it. So next up I'm doing the down at an angle as if I'm looking down that thigh with a little pressure coming from my hand helping me to just go to the point of tension and then hold. Each of the stretches you want to hold between 30 and 60 seconds, ideally. And then you'll repeat them one to two times to begin. Now we want to work on mobility. So the upper back we're going to focus on because sometimes if those scapula and shoulders are not where they should be, they are weak through the upper back, that's when tension creeps into the neck and might even give some cause to headaches. So this is an opening of the shoulder blades, rolling them forward and back, and then coming back to retract or pull together. This one is a lift up, roll back and down, just setting the shoulder blades back where they need to be. And if you hold a lot of tension through your upper back and neck, you'll notice that this one begins to feel good. And if those muscles are in the right place, your neck will take a whole lot less stress and tension. Strength now from the floor. So small lift up. So this is a very small range of motion. Lifting, watch from the crown of my head down through my upper back, moving as a unit. Try to avoid picking your head up first so there's no strain here through the neck. We want to strengthen those muscles through the back of your neck that are weak while we're forward working all day long. Same exercise, but going a little bit further. Now I've widened my hands. I have a little more pressure through my fingertips, but the work is still happening through my upper back. It's about shoulder blades pulling together, and there's a lot of pelvic tilt going on. My tailbone is down, protecting your lower back. Next up, little pinkies come in close to your side. Your elbows come as close as they possibly can together and you want to focus on that squeeze. The same lift up with the head and neck in alignment with that upper back, not leading it, but just following your upper back. You'll find that one to be challenging. Last but not least, arms come out like airplane wings, palms down, and this again, your pinkies are the closest to you. That'll help open your shoulders and pull your shoulder blades back together. So this is a great postural stance as well. Always try to open your palm to the front. Long head and neck. Practice all those good cues. You're layering the earlier exercise on this more advanced exercise. You want to do 15 to 20 of the exercises, one to two sets a day.